We're nearing sine die and the end of Georgia's 2024 session. Lawmakers have only two legislative days remaining to work out whatever issues remain and pass legislation that survived the other chamber. Here are your updates from the penultimate week of Georgia's own version of March Madness. On the healthcare front, Monday, the House Regulated Industry Special Subcommittee held a hearing on Senate Bill 460, which would have eased restrictions on certified registered nurse anesthetists, or CRNAs, in rural hospitals. The bill did not advance out of the subcommittee. On Thursday, the Senate Regulated Industries Committee held a hearing on House Bill 1077. The bill, which originally funded a grant program for additional behavioral health providers, was gutted to substitute language from Senate Bill 487, which created a new Medicaid expansion program. The bill did not advance out of committee. An update on school choice legislation, the Senate voted to agree with changes from the House on the Georgia Promise Scholarship Act, sending Senate Bill 233 to the governor. Under 233, eligible families can receive $6,500 to use for private school tuition and other educational expenses. The House adopted legislation that requires companies that receive taxpayer incentives to hold secret ballot elections for union representation. Senate Bill 362 cleared the Senate earlier in the session. The Senate has sent a bill to the governor that will lower the income tax rate from 5.49% to 5.39%. House Bill 1015 would accelerate the rate cut of 0.1% annually until it reaches 4.99%. The House approved legislation limiting plaintiffs' ability to sue motor carriers and their insurers simultaneously. Senate Bill 426 will bar so-called direct action against insurance companies. And finally, Representative Gary Richardson, a Republican from Evans, was sworn into office as a member of the Georgia House on Wednesday. Richardson won the seat for House District 125 following a special election last Tuesday. That's all for this week. For more updates like this, as well as Foundation news and publications, be sure to subscribe to our weekly Friday Facts newsletter.